Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 24th Angular 2 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about the HTTP service. Alright then gang, so currently in this application what we are doing is defining some data right here called ninjas in the directory component then we're outputting that data in the directory view to the screen. Now typically when we make an application we're probably not going to define our data in the application itself like this. What we're probably going to do is have some kind of external source where that data is stored and then bring it in. So I'm going to show you how we can do that in this tutorial using the HTTP service. So what I've done is gone ahead already and created this ninjas.json file right here in the public folder. And we're going to go out and grab this JSON in a second. But first of all, I want you to bear in mind that what I've done is just copied this stuff right here. So everything in here like that, I've copied all that and pasted it in this file. Only this time what I've done is put little exclamation marks around the property names so that it is valid JSON. I've also added this final object name Sean and belt obviously black. So we're going to go out and grab this JSON in a minute. So for now let's delete all of this stuff inside here and we'll just keep it as an empty array for now. So the first thing we want to do when we're going out and grabbing data from an external source is inject the HTTP providers into our application, probably at the root level, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to the main.ts file right here, and I'm going to come down here and say import, and we're going to import these HTTP providers, like so. And that is going to be from at angular forward slash HTTP. We also need to put the providers inside the bootstrap method right here, like so. So let's save that now. And this basically means we can now use the HTTP service in our own custom service. So I'm going to create our own custom service, which is going to go out and grab this data. And then inside that custom service, we're going to inject the HTTP service. Okay, so let us now create that service. So I'm going to say ng then G for generate, S for service, and then the name of this service is going to be the data service. So I'll just say data and press enter. And that's going to create this service in the app directory right here. So in this folder. So we can see now that in this directory we have the directory, sorry, the data service right here. And the first thing we want to do is import the HTTP service so that we can use it in here. And we want to import that so we can use methods like get and we can go out and reach for this data. So we'll say import and we're going to say HTTP and we're going to say that's from and it's at angular forward slash HTTP. Cool. So now we can use this HTTP service inside here. But first of all, we need to inject it in this constructor. So let's say private and our own local version of this, which is just HTTP or lowercase colon and set it equal to this thing right here, this type. Okay, so now this service knows it's going to be using this service right here. We've injected it. So now we can use it on this local variable. So we can use methods like get, which we are going to do. So down here, I want to create a method which is going to go out and fetch this data. So we'll call this method fetch data. And then inside this method, I want to say this dot HTTP, which is this local reference right here. And we can use the dot get method on it now. And the data we want to get is in the public folder and it's the ninjas.json. Now, when we put anything in the public folder, it essentially sits on the root of the application. So we can just say forward slash ninjas.json. OK, now what is this going to do? Is it going to go out and grab that data for us? Not technically. It's just setting up an observable for us. And an observable is something which we can subscribe to and listen for changes to. OK, so in order for this to go out and actually grab the data, what we need to do is subscribe to it. So we'll say dot subscribe like so. And then in this subscribe method, we can take a callback function. And in this case, it's going to be a fat arrow function. 
Now, if you don't know about fat arrow functions, I've done a tutorial on this. I'll leave the link to that exact tutorial down below so you can check them out. It's only a few minutes long. But essentially, what we can do is take the data now, which is returned to us, use that fat arrow, and for now, let's just console.log the data, like so. Okay? So again, what are we doing here? We're injecting the HTTP service so that we can use it inside here. We're creating a function called fetch data, which says this dot HTTP, our local version, dot get, then this JSON right here, this is gonna return an observable to us. We need to subscribe to that observable in order for it to reach out and grab this data. Then when that happens, when it returns data to us, because we've subscribed to it, it lets us know, and we can use the callback function, in this case, a fat arrow function, to grab that data, and then we're logging it to the console. So this is not gonna log it to the console just yet because we've not actually done anything. We've not called this service anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is actually return this thing right here and save it. And we're gonna call this function from our directory component. So let's go into this directory component. And the first thing we need to do is import it right here at the top, the service that we need. So we'll say import and we want the data service we just made and it is from, and it's dot dot because we're going upper level, then forward slash data dot service. Cool, so now we also need to specify the providers down here. So we'll say providers, and this is gonna be the data service again, like so. And then down here, we need to inject that data service into our class. So we'll say private, and I'll call this data service, this is just the local version of this, colon, and set it to data service, like so. So now we can use that data service using this local reference right here in this class. Now I'm gonna use it within the ng on init function, which basically makes sure that this component is loaded before we use this service. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna say this dot data service, like so, dot fetch data, and that's that method on this service, which we can use now because we've injected that service into this component, okay? So when we do that, it's gonna look into this service, it's gonna say, okay, well, HTTP dot get this data, return that observable, we're subscribing to it, when we get the data back, I want to log it to the console, okay? So let's try this out in a browser and see what happens. I'm just gonna refresh over here. And cool, now we see that data down here. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see that. You can see the response right there. And then we've got all this data right here. Cool, but this format of data is not much use for us. We wanna return some kind of JSON object so we can loop through it and output it into our view. And we can do that by mapping this data. So this observable right here can be mapped to another observable, which returns us the data in a format that we want JSON. So we can use the dot map method on an observable to basically map it to another observable, which is what we're doing right here, so dot map. And then we're gonna use another fat arrow function here. So we're taking the response, which is brought to us, then the fat arrow, and then we want the response dot JSON, like so. So this right here is gonna map this observable response to another observable, which is gonna return the data right here in JSON format instead. So let's save this again and check it out in a browser to see what's returned to us. Cool, so now we get that JSON data right here, the four different objects. Pretty cool, right? But we're just logging this data to the console right now. What we really wanna do is output this in the view itself. Now, to do that, what I'm gonna do is remove this subscribe method right here. I'm gonna cut it. Because whenever we use this service to fetch data, we might not always want to log it to the console. We might wanna do different things with it. So by removing that subscribe method, we can use it in the components themselves and subscribe to this observable right there, and then do what we want with the data in the component rather than here. So what we wanna do is output it to the view. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna pop the dot subscribe right there instead. Okay, it's doing exactly the same thing. It's just that we've moved the subscribe from the end of this thing right here 
to the end of this thing right here, which is the same thing. So if I save this now, it's still all gonna work the same. I'll just save it and show you. And we'll come over here, do we do have an error? And that was just because the server needed a minute to catch up. So now this has worked and we have those objects in the console. But instead of logging them, let's output them to the view. So we know that the ninjas right here are output in the view. And we can see that if we go to the directory view here, we can see let ninja of ninjas and it's cycling through each one of them and outputting them to the view. So what we want to do in the directory component is just set what we've returned here, what we've got, this data, equal, or set this ninjas array rather equal to what is returned to us here. So we can say this dot ninjas, which refers to this thing here, equals the data. And if we save that now, like magic, this is going to work. So if I come, I'm just going to take away this uh, semicolon. If we come to the browser and refresh, now we see all of that data is output to the view itself. And we've got that final one there. Cool. So that is how we use the HTTP service, how we create our own service, which is going out to grab the data that we want, how we can return an observable like this, and how we can subscribe to that observable in the components themselves and do what we want with the data that is returned to us. So any questions, leave those down below. Otherwise, don't forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in the very next one.